everybody welcome back to my channel this is enigma and you're watching enigma Inc. so first of all why i do positive reads because i try to figure out or find out the most positive answers for you all so that you can change your mindset to attract positive things so that is why it is important that we find the best you know out of these cards so uh today we're going to do my sign which is scorpio let us see what are the messages for ya all scorpions sun moon rising and venus sign in scorpio let us see oops mm -hmm. by the way our first manifestation workshop on white magic spells which are totally spiritual is going amazingly great and uh, we have 20 participants in the first batch which is a great great thing thank you for giving so much importance and trust in uh, this workshop it's going really well so that is why i've decided to conduct batch two in 10th of june which is first day that is new moon so if you're interested in joining learning manifestation skills to improve your quality of life you can uh, book you can enroll on uh, the following uh, contact details given below whatsapp instagram or email okay so the workshop to batch 2 is going to start in the month of uh, june 10th june so if you're interested do not wait for personal readings and more accuracy you can book me on whatsapp instagram and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to watch more such videos and on my Instagram, you can get some manifestation tips, switch words, healing, and June horoscopes coming up. Scorpio. Whoa, Scorpio, you've turned your back on an Aries person or someone who sees you as a twin flame. You're dealing with a twin, I feel. There's a twin person who's mirroring your energy completely. Someone is completely smitten by your attractiveness, by whatever you're doing. You're doing things completely out of the box, randomly. Just not thinking, pursuing it and becoming a winner. People are appreciating you. And I feel like you've moved on from someone or something. You've, ha you, you know, uh, turned your back on this person. And since that day, this person is feeling sad and remorse of losing you because you're not talking to this person anymore. You're simply embracing self-love. You're happy. You're finding your true self. You're following your desires. Going great. And this person is like watching you consistently you know they're totally smitten by your creativity your talents this could be an aries person or equally dominating as you are okay you guys are mirror energies like mirroring each other so this could be a possible twin flame i sense but i feel this person is highly attracted to you and wants to communicate whereas you simply have your back turned on them on focusing on your own focusing on your uh, popularity or you're focusing on your work okay wherever you are you're shining bright and i see money coming in a lot of money abundance happiness uh, coming in it's just not money okay it's about happiness wealth health everything is going great for you and i feel like you're feeling very independent you don't feel the need of having someone you're just simply there out there shining you know your white light and people are really appreciating you for who you are and what you're doing and i feel like this is making you more uh, popular somewhere there is a popularity thing happening also a lot of abundance also coming in some of you have a pet okay some of you are married and your marriage is going to revive very soon some of you are going to get pregnant some of you are going to become a star or a musician or a social media star some of you are going to get a lot of money okay so i do see marriage also happening somewhere so i see like uh, someone feels strongly attracted to you and wants to be there for you okay but they feel sad because you have turned your back on them you don't have time for this person and you have kind of ended the situation completely but this person is still stuck on you okay so I feel like, uh, however, this person could be a Pisces as well. They may be taking a leap of faith. They're trusting their intuition that somewhere this, this connection will work. So they will try to reach out to you, communicate with you because they are feeling emotional and they don't have control over their emotions. So they will take this uh, risk to reach out to you even though 
if they have to go through some rejection of some kind okay all right so this could be a libra scorpio pisces cancer they're feeling a lot of love for you and they're observing you a lot they're observing every little thing about you okay this could be a libra gemini aquarius okay this person is hurting because you left the situation okay now this person is crying over you and uh, they just don't know how to revive this connection because you were feeling unloved in this situation you were feeling uncared in the situation you were feeling like you were taken for granted and so you decided to leave without any hassle so this person is feeling really sad and remorse over this and i feel like they're continuously spying on what's going on in your life and whereas you are working on your goals some of you may be doing higher study research or preparing for your exam if that is so you're going to clear it okay so i do see you get getting more and more knowledge in your field this person is feeling extremely passionate about you like there's a lot of passion here okay and they just can't reach out to you okay somehow this is difficult because there's a long distance for some of you or there are a lot of blockages here you may have blocked this person okay or there has been a big fight and this is why they are waiting for the right time okay but right now they just want to have you because they they'll feel lucky if they have you that's how they're feeling like if they have you or if they had you they would be so lucky so that's how this person is feeling they want wheels to turn in their favor they want fortune to help them uh, in their uh, you know favor they just want they see you growing and they want to be a part of your life and i feel like they're you know they're studying you more than they're studying their own life so that's how it is okay this person is pretty on and off like they're not very consistent in their approach though okay so it's like an end but no end like that libra gemini aquarius they're continuously continuously observing you scorpions the sun the six of swords okay they feel so happy in your company that it's difficult for them to move on from you i feel like it's been a difficult journey for you as well scorpio but you're coming out clean you're coming out happy your energies are getting cleared of all the negativities and you're embracing more positivity in your aura but this person is still going through a lot of stress you know they have you in their mind a lot and they're stressing over it so much maybe there's sleep issues with this person and you are on the other hand growing okay you are making your life better and you're working on yourself you're happier you don't care what this person thinks you're just simply happy out there open to new options and embracing your true self loving yourself and i feel you're uh, wearing nice clothes and you know taking care of yourself or if you haven't yet do that because that's really going to clear up all the negativity that's left over your soulmate is coming okay this person or new person i don't know but yes your soulmate who is very very safe for you is going to come sometimes we do not end up marrying a twin flame type of connection but we find soulmate as more safer so yeah this could be the one maybe this is the one so i see there is a high chance of this person being the one in your life because i do see a twin flame potential here okay all right i see more energies oof this is exciting and heavy at the same time wow i feel like you have their heart or you have the key to their heart scorpions i feel like 444 is my angel number as well or you some of you i feel let me know if you also see 444 or 1111 which i see so much which is telling you that angels are very close to you and protecting your heart from breaking by the wrong person so yeah please thank the universe for this plus 11 11 because you are going to embrace good luck um good money good wealth happiness health everything is going to be on point okay so you're going to be happy even though you feel anxiety at times so this is not going to be something uh, you would have to worry about okay so i do see that a change is also happening with a 4 4 1 5 yes as i told you you're growing towards um, i feel like you are growing and your person is regretting clearly someone is regretting losing you whereas you are simply happy and going forward and you've started protecting your heart taking care of your heart 
and your heart chakra is more open and uh, is open to new options and you're happy to embrace whatever is coming in your direction your favor or not in your favor doesn't matter scorpions please i see with a lot of yellow over here you are feeling very confident in your own aura okay no so i feel like maybe you have just made a thought of reaching out to that person don't do that okay i just felt see i told you you have to let go because let universe do its own course because maybe there's someone better for you or maybe this person is meant to be in your life but if you chase this person it's not going to work okay you have to let it go you have to leave it on universe and see how things unravel for you a time for healing right now you really need to heal yourself so that you can build more confidence for yourself some of you are dealing with a leo by the way a uh, full moon is on its way so take care of yourself emotions are going to be high so drink more water sleep well eat healthy and do not take up negative people's energies these days okay so that's about it scorpions i hope you all stay happy and blessed forever and if you like this video do not forget to like it share subscribe and hit the bell and comment down below let me know how this resonated till then we will see you next time bye